Here's Brody Brazil. Do you remember when I looked like that? That was spring training 2020. Late February. In fact, that was a couple weeks after the last haircut I got. Meaning that, yes, the last time any of this was cut was now a full year ago. I could never imagine. That guy right there, that guy could never imagine what it would be like to not get your hair cut for a year. I've always been a person to get a haircut every four to five, maybe six weeks sometimes, you know, if it was too short or if I just couldn't get to the barber or or whatever, wanted to grow it out just a little bit longer for whatever reason, four or five or six weeks, at the most six weeks, never six months, never a year. And, And I knew, I knew when the pandemic started one of the things I would have to figure out with a lot of personal services being off limit, off limits was, am I going to shave this thing? Am I going to just let it keep growing? I honestly did not know what to do with this. And I was actually pretty set on shaving my head because I'd never, I've never shaved it. I don't know what my head looks like. It, it might be like lumpy or ugly. I, I just don't know. I've never seen it. That actually was what I was going to do for the longest time. And then there was a period where I was going to cut it myself or have a family member cut it. And I won't get into all the specifics. There there are reasons why, even with opportunities, why I still haven't, haven't got it done. And to be quite honest, at this point, because it's gone this long, uh, I don't see any reason at this juncture to just to do anything different. I'm going to ride this out until the health situation is is under control for me and and also likely for a lot of other people, but I never I never imagined this. Uh it's not comfortable sleeping at night, hair on the pillow in your face. How do you style this? And you know what? I yeah, I am going to take the headphones off here for just a second. I mean, this this is ridiculous that I can now basically I can put hair in my mouth. Look at that. Hair can reach my mouth. Like, you can't even see my eyes anymore. What What are we doing here? Look at this. How about hair from the back? Hair from the back of my head can almost get, yeah, can almost get to my mouth. This is atrocious. This is atrocious, but this is what a year worth of not getting your hair cut looks like. Which, which brings me to the point, unless, unless you are going for this look, unless you want, you know, or you're going for a longer haircut, I, I don't, I, this is not my preference. I guess I can't say why would anybody do this? That's what I was about to say. Maybe this is what you want or you want, or you're, you're getting to a longer point, but this is hard work. Like your hair needs conditioner. It gets tangled a bunch. You know, I, I find myself playing with it like this a ton. And then I, I do curls and then it like it gets stuck. Uh, yeah, so it tangles. And also every time after I take a shower, like it's a good hour and a half before it's actually dry. Like all, all this, all this hair in the back right here, it gets wet. It gets on my shirt. Like a lot of times I keep moving around like this. And I, and I say, well, what is there a tag on my shirt? Oh, no, wait, that's my hair touching the back of my whatever I'm wearing. But yeah, wet hair dripping on your clothes. It's just, it's honestly, none of this is extremely comfortable. I, I guess what I'm saying is when I was saying before, why would you do this? <laughs> it's because it's not easy. Short hair is a lot easier than this. So... Here I am, early February of 2021, haven't got my hair cut in a full year, and yeah, I guess I'm realizing that it could be several more months until I'm ready to get that next haircut. 
So this is only going to get a lot worse. Whew. 